Let's do a pseudo derivation of Ampere's law. I have a long straight wire with a current flowing through it right here. I have some point a distance r away, and I want to find the magnetic field there. We've already gone through for 252. We've gone through the derivation for 152. We sort of hand waved it. I know the strength of the magnetic field is equal to mu naught i over 2 pi r. That's the strength. The direction depends upon where you are, and it's going to be coming out of the page there, into the page there, coming down in front and behind going up. Hopefully you can get that three-dimensional drawing there. That right there is the circumference, so I'm just going to do b times 2 pi r is equal to mu naught i. And then I'm just going to generalize it. That is the circumference, so that is just the length all along that right there. So this is bl is equal to mu naught i. That's for a closed loop. Remember, we had closed surface dealing with Gauss's law, but this is not Gauss's law. This is a closed loop. And so we can do the sum for 152, the sum of all the b dot l's. That's b dot delta l. Is it? And that is to indicate that it is a closed loop it is equal to mu naught i. And this current right here is the enclosed current. Or for 252, the integral of b dot dl is equal to mu naught i enclosed. This is Ampere's law. Now I do want to point out in the opening video we talked about Maxwell's equations. We've actually at this point done two and a half of Maxwell's equations. Sort of a non-calculus based and a calculus based versions of it. We have the sum of the electric field times sort of these patches of area around a closed surface. In other words, the electric flux through a closed surface is equal to Q enclosed over epsilon sub naught, or the integral of E dot dA around a closed surface is equal to the enclosed charge over epsilon sub naught. That is Gauss's law of electricity. I touched on it very briefly, didn't do the derivation of it, but that would require beyond the scope of this course, at least for the derivations I've seen. We also have the sum of B dot D, or delta A around a closed surface. In other words, the magnetic flux through a closed surface is equal to zero in whatever unit system. Insert unit here. I guess Weber's in SI units or integral of B dot DA is equal to zero. Sorry, dot product. That doesn't go there. Then we have, oh, what the heck, we'll put down Weber's. And now we have the sum of B dot delta L along a closed loop is equal to mu naught I or B dot DL around a closed loop is equal to mu naught I. And this is Ampere's law. So this is Gauss. Gauss's law of electricity, Gauss's law of magnetism, and this is Ampere's law. Ampere law. Now, the reason I said we have two and a half of them is that there is another piece that is missing here that will get get filled in later on. We need to cover some other material first before we can I can justify that properly. Uh, but that's where Maxwell comes in. And then there's another piece that where Faraday and Lintz should share credit, it's usually called Faraday's Law, but I, I think Lentz deserves some credit too. So Faraday and Lentz's Law is coming down here. But these are referred to as Maxwell's Equations. I do want to point out, and I'll probably say it again in another video, Maxwell did not call them Maxwell's Equations. That came afterwards, because Maxwell basically contributed this piece that's missing right here, and he knew what to do with it.